Nirvana, all apologies on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilton, and well, Steve, I met up with. I know it's forbidden, usually. Mm. I don't know why uh, Let me just expl- explain to the uh, listener. Um, me and Steve have got a little bit of a pact. We're not allowed to talk to Carl during the week because he comes out with too much dynamite and we want it to be fresh and it's it's just unfair. And if he sees us laughing, he, he clams up a little bit because he, he knows something's wrong with his head. So, um, I was in a pub and uh, Carl called, he returned the call, I called you earlier, and I said, oh, I'm just across the road, for it. come over. And uh, he came over and we had a conversation and uh, I kept saying, no, save it. And I can't remember all the things he was saying, but I do remember one thing he said. He said that the human eye never grows. It's the, he, said, he said, unlike your ears and nose that keeps growing all your life, he says the human eye never grows. Now, there's a little bit of... He said, now you look at a baby, it's got big eyes. It's got the same size eyes as it will have. When, when, when a baby's never. born, everyone always goes, oh, look at its eyes, don't they? Because that's like the main feature. Yeah. They're quite big. They <laughs> don't grow, they don't get any smaller, they stay the same size. What, you mean once you become an adult, you've the same size no. eyes? No, as soon as you come out of the womb, <laughs> your eyes, the size they are as a little baby... They stay the same size. Until you die. Sockets. And I said, I pointed out to him, right, you know, I said, if that was true, Steve Merchant, when he was a baby, with these eyes he's got now, would look like a hammerhead shark. All right, calm down. (laughs) You don't want to (laughs) go lay into the eyes. Do you know what I mean? Just to prove my point. I didn't laugh when he said that. Respect. (laughs) Do you know what I mean, though? I've got the eyes of the windows of the soul. (laughs) And mine are, that happen to be enormous plate glass windows. (laughs) But, you know, but nevertheless, no, no, they're beautiful. But many people find them beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're great. Yeah, many people do. Um, yeah. But, uh, do you know they don't have kneecaps either? My eyes or? What? Ba- babies. <laughs> when, when they're born, they, d- they don't get kneecaps until they're about two. <laughs> they don't get kneecaps? Is that true? Yeah. And also, uh, yeah, it's talking about it that's, But it's, isn't it like a, isn't it a little bone in it's part of the... Well, the, no, the but all the the the, you've got lots more, lot more bones when you're born than Yeah, you've got 300, 300 when you're born, then 205 when you're an adult. Yeah, they all fuse, don't they? Do they? The head's got to be all soft to come out. Right. Um, as we said earlier, you know. I would know, I'm a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so God. So what did you say when he said about my eyes being huge? Okay, shit? get I off said, it. That, I said that isn't nice, considering yeah. he's not here. I yeah, said I wait until he's here when I slug him off. Yeah, very well. No, nice one, Carl. You're an honourable man. <laughs> oh, well, this I know, you see, the thing is, right, that made me think that it might be a little bit of truth in this. There is as well, is the, the, the ear thing. Have you seen that with old That's men true, who yeah. have really long ears? Yeah. And big noses? Yeah. You mean do, that, they, do they eat buns and uh, walk around in the jungle, these, these old understand. men? You mean that the ears and the nose carry on growing? Yeah, yeah they do, that's true. That's true, it's cartilage. Yeah, but not like, it's not like sort of Pinocchio. No, no, after you're dead. You leave a body lying around, he's got a huge elephant. Really? Ideas, you left him long enough? Four foot nose, that's Incredible. what, yeah. Um, that's no, remarkable. But, but, you see, the, it's about the focal um, uh, length in, in your eye, you see, because it's, it's like a big lens. So it would make sense that, that they couldn't change that much. Because hmm. um, an owl, do you know why an owl turns its head round? Sort of like 180 degrees? No. Because it, it can't move its eyes. Because the eyes take up the whole... It's the biggest eye in the animal kingdom. The eyes take up the whole of its skull. Cause really? That, yeah. Yeah, and it has to move it... Yeah. Has it got a brain in there as well? It's got a brain in there, yeah, above the eye. Yeah. When I say the whole of the skull... I'm, Quite, yeah. There's yeah. also some space for the brain. What I meant is the the, the, the two diameters of the eye is the, is the diameter of the You've lost the me there with diameters. And you didn't like maths, did you? No, don't like maths. Never understood it. Couldn't yeah. get to grips with maths. I don't know about you, Carl. Did you do maths, maths. Carl? <laughs> Now, how did you do in your exams on the maths? <laughs> did you turn Was your, I bet yours was rather like my theory, which is why do you need to figure it all out when you've got a calculator? Exactly. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. You're and right. I agree. Well, let's play a record, and afterwards I'm going to be testing you on your homework this week, Carl. Um, could we do uh, White Van Man first? We could do... Oh, just to... You no, know, they've got no, to know what, to what they're people. dealing with, yeah. Um, Carl's homework was to read all about, um, as you know, Shea Guevara. Absolutely. Uh, uh, last week, you did well on Rasputin, didn't you? Did very well on Rasputin. Yeah, uh, passed uh, with flying marks there. Uh, so uh, um, let's let's have a bit of Wu Tang, shall we? So let's have White yeah. Van oh. Man. Yeah. White Van Carl. Nice. Yeah. Don't erase none of that good shit. Yeah. Wu Tang Clan, there, Steve. XFM 104.9. I'm Richard Vase with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Now, I just. Uh, Remind them to have some Carl's in the week. I know it's forbidden to talk to him, but we're, we're, I'll tell you this. He was talking, he was very excited about the Friends Reunited. He was a bit nervous at first, wasn't he, last week? But then he was really getting into it. 
Um, and uh, in the pub, he was talking to them about the people. And he said, uh, I'd, n- I'd, I'd never go on a reunion, though. So I'd never never do that. What, a school reunion? Yeah, and he wouldn't want to see anyone. And I went, well, I said, I said, wouldn't you want to see those two lads with the big heads and the webbed hands? Oh, yeah, these were people you went to school with, weren't they? Yeah. Well, I didn't knock about with them. They were in the class. What were they called? Ah, oh, freaks. Right. <laughs> Right, okay. and uh, he said, no, I wouldn't want to see them. He said, because what could you say? Oh, you haven't changed much, right? Mm. And he went, he said, and they wouldn't go anyway, would they? I said, why? He went, well, they didn't have any friends. Right. And I said, well, weren't they friends with each other? And he went, no, that would have been too obvious. <laughs> like, they passed <laughs> each other and went, no, I know it's tempting, but let's not. Everyone would think that's just what we were going to do. <laughs> let's yeah. not do it. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't even hang around with each other. No. See, I must say, in my in my head, I've got something like it's like a some sort of extra thing from Blake Seven that they're like some sort of you know lagoon monster. But they just had slightly oversized heads, did they? See, does your head grow? Your hmm. eyes don't. Does your head? Because maybe they've got to a point now that it's all sort of caught up with each other. <laughs> Go on. Well, at the time, the, the eyes were very small and the head was huge. <laughs> uh, just a very big head. And yeah. The, I mean, the fingers aren't going to change. You know, that's not. They had not webbed funny. fingers. It was like the penguin in Batman. <laughs> really? Are you sure? No, honestly. Are you sure they weren't wearing mittens? No, seriously. <laughs> yeah, they were, it wasn't home economics. They weren't getting some out of the oven, a very hot dish, were they? Every time you saw them. <laughs> but why were there two, but they weren't related and they weren't friends? I don't know. I suppose it's like asthma and that, isn't it? Some kids have it. And, and it just was a coincidence. Yeah, but asthma's quite a common thing. Webbed hands, Carl. Yeah. I don't know. You don't think of it, do you, when you're a kid? You just sort of... Oh, when, yeah, you, when you first see him, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there goes the frog men. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Carl, look, let's have uh, let's have a little quick session of White Van Man. Uh, For those that don't listen to the show regularly, uh, the Sun, as you may know, has a section called White Van Man, where a member of the public gets asked their opinions on the uh, week's big uh, political and social hot potatoes. So, Carl, we just thought uh, it would be funny if you answered some of the uh, questions. It's not so much questions; it's just your views, really, on these big these big news stories. Uh, what do you make of Olympic ski hero Alan Baxter testing positive for drugs? What did he do? Well, he won a gold medal in the Olympics, and for he what? he was a ski he was a skier, right? And he won gold medal, and uh, they've just tested him positive for uh, some kind of illegal drug. But what I mean, if he did, why take drugs to ski? <laughs> why? Because all you do is balance. But imagine it'd be amazing if you were stoned, like going down a hill. Yeah, it's not like you have yeah, to. It's not, it's not going to help you. Is no, it? it's, it's just like gravity that's doing all the work, isn't it? With skiing. Yeah, but it's often to do with your uh, athleticism, isn't it? It's no, but even like saying, and we've just found out the people on the toboggan were on crack. It's not. It's not going <laughs> to help them. You, yeah, sit, you sit there and you go with the flow. Yeah. And you could try I, could, and I, and you could I say? Could I say the, the, the drugs Apparently he was taking? That's his defense. Probably. The, it, it, it wasn't. It probably wasn't jacking up. H or you know dropping a few E's or getting stoned. He was probably taking more sort of uh, you know, performance enhancing drugs as opposed to him just like scoring some shit around the corner but, from someone, getting off his tits and jumping in a toboggan. <laughs> Doesn't mean that, yeah. does it? He wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> off his nut. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have you have uh, tested you. You've pissed out your head. But why doesn't he just say, "Don't be stupid"? Why would I do that? It's not going to help me out. But it is, isn't it? Because uh, performance enhancing drugs do. Wait a minute, Steve. Wait a minute, Carl. Right, look at this way. Okay, look at me. Yeah, I've got. Have I got his attention? Yeah. The the the, the lights glint- glinting off your ring there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Okay, right. No, keep concentrating. Right. Some athletes, you're aware they take drugs. That's to build up swimmers muscle. Swimmers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, swimmers. For runners. Example, runners. Yeah. No, not only do they help build muscle. Right, but they, they can actually, you know, give them a boost performance while yeah. they're sort of like steroids and all, all this sort of stuff. Right? So that's the sort of thing we're talking about, okay? Right, so again... He, was, he wasn't on a bomb before... You? What? Why would that help you when you... All you've got to do is balance on skis. <laughs> Not uh, when you're at the Olympic level. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lot to do with, you know, your body and no, your legs. No, it's practice, isn't it? It's like, if, you, if, you, if you've skied for years, then you've got good balance after a bit. Oh, okay. you know Carl, do you know what? You've made a mockery of drug-taking. Well done. Yeah. Right, next one, Steve. I Fair hate enough. this bit. I hate this. Um, I don't know if you saw it. What did you make of Posh Spice's Warts and All documentary? <laughs> yeah, I saw a bit of it. What did you make of it? Uh, I mean, people are slagging him off, aren't they? Saying, you know, she's daft and that, but... <laughs> don't make you. She's... Uh, <laughs> I, I think they're all right, honestly. Yeah, you know, all right. She's all right. I mean, I think David's really a decent bloke. Sure. Um, Would you yeah. agree that he's quite a simple man? Yeah, but he's a footballer. He doesn't need to be... Do you know what I mean? It's like me. 
Yeah. Like, you know, all right, I only got an E in history. Sure. But <laughs> knowing about the Tudors doesn't help me press these buttons and put the next CD on. No, sure. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So good luck to him, and he's done well out of it. It's just yeah. jealousy. Yeah. I remember, though, um, when, I was, when I was back in Manchester, I was in Piccadilly train station, and he was there 